Did someone need a plate mapper? Yeah. Step one, BSI. Seeing is safe. Let's do this. Step two, sterilize your work area. With 70% ethanol. Step 3. Make a plate map on Excel. Enter the sample ID numbers into the template and make sure to leave a column for blanks. Step 4. Gather your utensils. Our swabs. Our mapping rack. Power soil plate. A sharpie. And some tape. Step 5. Using your sharpie, label your plate. You should label the front of the plate so that while staring at the label, well A1 is in the top left corner. You want to label your plate with the project name, the plate number, the date, and your initials. Step 6. Organize your samples on your mapping rack according to your Excel template. Step 7. Store your power soil lid in a sterile area. Step 8. Tape over your power soil plate, starting from A12 to H12, repeating for each column, leaving the first column open. Step 9. Place the A1 swab into the corresponding power soil plate A1 well. Careful not to move the sample over any other wells. In the double swab form, make sure the swabs are well separated. Step 10. Break off the swab into the appropriate well. Make sure that the swab is not flush with the surface of the well, but instead it should be short enough to ensure that the rubber plate mat can securely reattach. Step 11. Repeat this for all of column 1, row B through H, grabbing a new swab for each well. Step 12. Remove the tape from column 2 and cover column 1 so that only column 2 is open. Repeat steps 8 through 10 until the entire plate is complete. Step 13. Once all wells are full, remove the tape. Do this step slowly as swabs may be stuck to the tape. Step 14. Return the rubber plate mat and secure it in place using a roller. Mark the top left corner of the mat. When taking the mat on and off, make sure to return this marked corner to the top left to eliminate cross-contamination. Finally, place your completed plate in the negative 20 freezer. Mission accomplished.